easy way to raise death's head caterpillars. Keep eggs in a small tub and open the lid daily for fresh air. The eggs usually take 5 to 10 days to hatch. Transfer them over to a new tub with small air holes. Use a soft paintbrush for this. Line the tub with cleaning roll. It makes cleaning easier. Take your time. Tiny caterpillars are delicate. They may not eat straight away. After a few hours, check the caterpillars have started eating. You can tell they're eating because you can see it here. Also, tiny marks will be eaten out of the leaves. Feed them using privet, potato, deadly nightshade, and other solanacea. I prefer to use privet because it's easier for me to get hold of. I spray a small amount of water on the cleaning roll for humidity while the caterpillars are so young how I do it. Be careful though caterpillars will drown on large droplets of water. The caterpillars will shed after around a week of eating. Refresh the caterpillars' food and clean regularly. Waste from the caterpillars can grow mold. And this can cause disease. When you're removing the cleaning roll, make sure you check every part of it. The caterpillars like to hide underneath. Also be careful when trying to take the caterpillars off the old cleaning roll. They cling on pretty strong and we don't want to hurt them. Use a paintbrush and gently roll it between your fingers underneath the caterpillars to encourage them climb onto the brush. As they get bigger, move them into larger tubs. Three sizes here. It doesn't take long for them to grow. After a few weeks, the caterpillars will start looking more yellow. I have a lot of caterpillars, so I'm transferring them into a medium sized net at this stage. If you overcrowd the caterpillars in tubs, they're more likely to get diseases. And fight amongst themselves too. Using a nut will allow better ventilation for the caterpillars. One of the caterpillars old skin. Most caterpillars will shed their skin perfectly fine. X5 speed. Occasionally some won't shed properly. To keep the privet fresh, you can use old jam jars and drill holes in the top. The net is from eBay, and they sell different sizes. Use cotton wool around the holes too. Prevent smaller caterpillars falling in. These ones will go into the net. I will keep smaller caterpillars in the tubs for now. Size comparison. Check the caterpillars regularly, making sure they have a constant fresh supply of food. I am removing old twigs, but be careful while doing this. The caterpillars will be stuck on multiple twigs. The best way to remove old twigs is to use. These are called snips used to cut branches. Leave the caterpillars on a small amount of the twig. Placing those into the net with fresh leaves. It's better to do this then. Trying to take caterpillars off twigs. The caterpillars grip very well. Especially the bigger caterpillars. Pulling them or forcing them off twigs. Can damage the caterpillar. This caterpillar gripped onto my hand. Well, I was moving him into a tub of soil. 
Be patient and let them climb off you at their own pace. Back to cleaning the net. As the caterpillars shed, you will find these. The caterpillars will shed their old skin. Called an exoskeleton. Leaving behind tiny head caps like this. Most caterpillars molt around five times. I have a small collection. Once you have cleared the net from old twigs and the caterpillar's waste, place all the caterpillars back in. The caterpillars will crawl onto the fresh leaves. I keep the caterpillars at room temperature. I find they grow happily and at a nice rate. Although caterpillars can grow at different rates still. The caterpillars can also be different color variations. Yellow color most often stay yellow. Green variation. This one has recently molted and is turning brown. It took a few days for the color to fully show. Usually only a few will turn brown. But for some unknown reason, I have record amount turning brown. Most usually stay yellow in the final stage. It seems the majority of mine will not stay yellow. The caterpillars all turn into the same moth, no matter what color. The speed the caterpillars go through food depends on a few things. The amount of caterpillars you have and what stage the caterpillars are at. Caterpillars at this size eat plenty but caterpillar in their final stage, like this, will eat far more going through food extremely fast. In preparation for pupation, the caterpillars will grow to around 12 centimeters. This is their final stage. Once the caterpillar is ready to pupate, he will have a more orange look to him and also start roaming around. He is looking for all place to pupate. Provide soil in a tub. These caterpillars pupate underground. The caterpillar will dig down into the soil. They may keep on roaming around for a while. Place a lid on the tub and put in a dark place. Make sure the soil is damp but not too wet. Some people use paper towels or bird nesting materials too. The brown caterpillars will look pale like this. When ready to pupate, I use any tubs I have laying round. This time round I am adding multiple into a huge box. Leave them alone for a few weeks. You should then notice this. Just pupated. A yellow, orange pupae finally changing to a red shiny pupae. I remove them from the soil in this stage. Put them into the nut laid on an old towel and mist occasionally. The pupae can hatch as early as one month. It all depends on different factors. The temperature, time of year and if the conditions are correct. I have had pupae take two to three months to hatch. This one is almost ready to hatch. He is dark, deep red. You can see though his pupae. The pupae also feels a little baggy. 
The information in the video is how I raise them. If you have any other ways, I would Thank love to hear. Thank you for watching.